Welcome to Packet Tracer 2.2.3.4 Configuring Initial Switch Settings Objectives Part 1 Verify the Default Switch Configuration Part 2 Configure a Basic Switch Configuration Part 3 Configure a MOTD Banner Message of the Day Part 4 Save Configuration Files to NVRAM Part 5 Configure S2 Background In this activity you will perform basic switch configurations. You will secure access to the command line interface and console ports using encrypted and plain text passwords. You will also learn how to configure messages for users logging into the switch. These banners are also used to warn unauthorized users that access is prohibited. Part 1. Verify the default switch configuration. Step 1. Enter Privilege Exec Mode. Click S1, then the CLI tab. Press enter. Type in enable. We are now in privilege exec mode. Step two, examine the current switch configuration. Show running config. Answer the following questions. How many fast Ethernet phases does a switch have? How many gigabit Ethernet faces does the switch have? What is the range of value shown for the VTY lines? 0 through 15. Which command will display the current contents of non-volatile random access memory? That will be show startup configuration. Why does the switch respond with startup config is not present? It displays this message because the configuration file was not saved in VRAM. Currently is only located in RAM. Part 2. Create a basic switch configuration. Assign a name to a switch. Host name S1. Exit. Step 2. Secure access to the console line. To secure access to the console line, access config line mode and set the console password to let me in.
Why is the login command required? In order for the password checking process to work, it requires both the login and password commands. Step 3 Verify that console access is secured. SwitchCon0 is now available. Press return to get started. Password. If the switch did not prompt you for a password, then you did not configure the login parameter in step 2. Right there. Step 4. Secure privilege mode access. Set the enable password to C1 dollar sign CO. The password protects access to privilege mode. Let me in. Enable. Config terminal. Enable password. Step 5. Verify that privilege mode access is secure. Enter the exit command again to log out the switch. Press enter. Enter the password. Let me in. Enter the command access privilege exec and we need the password for that. And we are in. Verify the configurations by examining the contents of the running configuration file. Show running config. Notice how the console and enable passwords are both in plain text. This could pose a security risk if someone is looking over your shoulder. Shoulder surfing. Step 6. Configure an encrypted password to secure access to privilege mode. The enable secret password overrides the enable password. If both are configured on the switch, you must enter the enable secret password to enter privilege exec mode. Step 7 Verify that the enable secret password is added to the configuration file. Enter the show running config command again to verify the new enable secret password is configured. What is displayed for the enable secret password? It's right here. Why is the enable secret password displayed differently than what we configured?
the enable secret is shown in encrypted form, whereas the enable password is in plain text. Step 8. Encrypt the enable and console passwords. As you noticed in step 7, the enable secret password was encrypted, but the enable and console passwords were still in plain text. We will now encrypt these plain text passwords using the service password encryption command. If you configure any more passwords on the switch, will they be displayed in the configuration file as plain text or encrypted form? Explain. The service password encryption command encrypts all current and future passwords. Part 3 Configure an MOTD Banner Message of the Day. Step 1 Configure a Message of the Day Banner. When will this banner be displayed? The message will be displayed when someone enters a switch through the console port. Why should every switch have a message of the day banner? Every switch should have a banner to warn unauthorized users that access is prohibited, but can also be used for sending messages to network personnel, technicians, such as impending system shutdowns or who to contact for access. Part 4. Save configuration files to NVRAM. Copy running config startup config. What is the shortest abbreviated version of the copy running config startup config command? Copy run start. Actually, I think it might be cop r and s, but I go copy run start. Step 3. Examine the startup configuration file. Which command will display the contents of nvram? Show startup config. Are all the changes that were entered recorded in this file? Yes, it is the same as the running configuration. Part 5, Configure S2.
Name device S2. Protect access to the console using the let me in password. Configure and enable password of Cisco and an enable secret password of It's a Secret. Configure a message to those to, to those logging into the switch with the following message. Encrypt all plain text passwords. Ensure the configuration is correct. Save the configuration file to avoid loss if the switch is powered down. And we are all done. 72 out of 72. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice day.